Hey, Gemini. I wasn't ready to press play, but I guess my phone just wanted to press it for, it for me. So I guess I might as well get started. Okay, Gemini. So what's up, y'all? This is your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, which I'm sure y'all already know by now. Um, I'm back with another video. This is you guys, the lies they tell and the secrets they keep for the month of May 2021. If you guys haven't already checked out this series before, then it's one that I created in order to gauge the energy in your immediate space of anyone that may be in the energy of deception and or secrecy. Okay, so just pretty much weeding out those bad energies, negative people that may be trying to hold you back or jealous of your progress or whatever, because we know that that's more common than not these days. Okay. To just kind of remove them from your path so that you can navigate forward into your full growth of ultimate self, right? All right. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and take the time to go ahead and do that right now. Hit that post notification bell and press all so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Check out the description where you guys can figure out where to follow me on social media outside of YouTube, as well as how to book a personal reading, as well as how to order products from the Goddess of Love, which consists of candles, which consists of candles, uh, manifestation oils, and salt baths. Okay, guys? All right, guys. So without further ado, we're going to hop straight into y'all reading because obviously, as y'all can see, the cards are popping and ready to talk. All right? Okay, Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, please use me as a vessel of clear, concise channel messages for the astrological sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month of May 2021, Spirit, who is around or coming towards Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node, that's an energy of deception and our secrecy spirit. All right, so you guys have a clear solution. So you guys could be dealing with a Virgo or y'all can be that whole Virgo Gemini energy of the magician, but this is more of like a, a hermit feel for me. So, I do feel like you guys have already kind of shined a light on people in your life. That's not real. That's fake. You know, people that you can't trust. Um, you guys are figuring out a clear solution. So, maybe, I don't know, whatever this lantern is, it could be your foresight. It could be your discernment. It could be your intuition. It could be your ability to research very well, you know, but whatever the case is, it's you have shown the low light on certain individuals in your life that may need to be removed okay so let's get two more if not then this person could be the type to do uh research on you you know maybe this person is finding some type of clear solution to do more research on you or either inner work because we all know hermit is more about you know the research of self okay and that can be exactly what it is so whoever you are dealing with they could be a Virgo or they could have Virgo in their chart um I don't know I see this purple is kind of like Aquarius energy as well but it's also um crown chakra energy so I do feel like whoever you're dealing with this person definitely went on a self journey here and I do feel like they there's this sense of them finding themselves and kind of returning to you okay this person is coming back a completely different individual they can be way more confident um, a lot of change has taken place in their life. They definitely are operating out of their lower self um, because I kind of see that uh, pink energy as well as like uh, crown chakra energy. You know, uh, I also see it as like higher self energy, yin energy. So you can have a female energy that's approaching you, Gemini. If not, you are the feminine energy. That is like has come into your own and maybe you are forcing the people around you to basically find themselves as well. Because this person may know that this is the only way they can get close to you, okay? But I'm just definitely getting that out of the darkness into the light energy here. Where it's like somebody is looking for a clear solution and they're finding that through connecting to their higher self. Through accepting some type of transformation that may have needed to take place. 
So you could have absolutely inspired this individual if you're the feminine energy. Um, if not, you are inspired by a feminine energy if you're the masculine Gemini. Okay. All right, so let's get one more for Gemini. For the month of May, as it pertains to the lies they tell and the secrets they keep, spirit, who's coming towards Gemini in the energy of deception and or secrecy. All right, one more. And this did come out during a pre-shuffle as well. So whoever this is, you done had three cycles with this person, and this must be the last time. Wow, you done got somebody together. It is this person's, hold on, y'all. Now, I'm going to keep it a book, y'all. This was in reverse. So, this is letting me know that it's because of this person's lack of alignment that you pretty much cut this person off. All right? This person can see you definitely in this energy, just in meditation mode, just making magic happen, being awakened, um, definitely operating from your higher chakras, uh, connecting to your higher self, connecting to spirit. And I do feel because this was at the bottom of the deck like this, then this is the reason why this person is having to fact check themselves. And so to speak, they had to kind of go off and get them all selves together. So this is somebody that want to be in alignment with you. Okay. They do. Now, whether they acting like they are, but they really not or what, I don't know. But it's like they were looking for a clear solution to get back in your good graces is what I'm seeing here. And uh, because they already know, either they already had three strikes or they had two. You see how two eyes are closed and one is open. So it's just like, OK, you got one more time before it's lights out on this whole situation. And you see how we had a nine, which speaks to something that's getting ready to wrap up. So just like the nine of wands, this person can be coming back for that one more try, that one more fight that they have within them. And they're hoping that you're willing to fight for this just as well. Okay. Let's get Lantern Fairy. Why is Lantern Fairy here, Spirit? Okay, so I'm getting the four swords. Yep, somebody definitely did take a sabbatical from you. Um, you and this individual, y'all kind of went on a break. It might have been a month since you guys last talked. I do feel like this person wanted to do a lot of research on themselves. Um, I don't know what you told this person, Gemini. You must have told this person that they better tame their demons, get out of their head, you know, get themselves in alignment. I don't know what you were telling them, but... Whatever you said to this individual, they basically went on a hiatus with that and on their mind. Like, whatever your words haunted this person to the point of, you know, either going through an ascension because they could be, you know, they could still be trying to. We can't rush people into a spiritual awakening. We can't rush them through it. You know, so this person could be going through the process of it, but whoever this person is, maybe they serve some purpose in your life before where they were deceptive, or that can be the deception right now is that this person is willing to do anything to get back in your good graces, even if it's to act as if they believe in something that you believe in, no matter what that is, because it doesn't have to be spirituality, you know? So why is Lantern Fairy here? One more time. Yeah, you definitely um, shone light on something about this person. And this could have been a demon that this person been trying to conquer for quite some time. Negative thoughts that have been keeping them trapped in their head, bogged down, pressed down, suppressed, oppressed, whatever, you know. But this person could, could be looking deeper into themselves and it's because of you. They see you as an ideal person. You came out as two queens and one to this individual. Or there could be two queens involved and that could be the deception as well. This person can have a wife, but you could be like somebody that loves them unconditionally. You know, I'm just going to assume that because if this person had to take a break away from you, then, and, and there's two queens here, then I'm going to assume that it's the queen of pentacles that's the outside person. If not, then this person sees you as somebody that's unconditionally loving and a very, like, a very grounded, centered individual. They see you balanced in a very practical and emotional way. 
They see you as a healer. They see you as somebody that's very nurturing, got your stuff together, you know, and basically an ideal partner. You know, you got fruit on that tree, girl, or a guy, you know. All right, so we are getting uh, the Ace of Wands in reverse. So it is letting me know that, you know, you definitely stick into your guns about a situation. You refuse, you friends owned at this person because you refuse to involve yourself with somebody that is not on your vibrational frequency. You just know it's not going to work out for you. Whether it's that you know your ancestors going to reject them, spirit going to reject them for you, or that they'll just get, put you in a place of stagnation or take you off your path. So this person essentially knows that they lost um, some kind of opportunity with you being insincere uh, or being a lover boy pretty much because I see the, the Knight of Cups as the person that will literally tell about five different people the same thing. And I use, for example, like the Good Morning Beautiful text, like they, they copy and paste that to seven different women. You know, so you could have had that type of guy or you could have had this guy that, like I said, they got two good, good women and they don't know which one to choose. But for some reason, they feel more of a spiritual connection to you, Gemini, if you the feminine energy, you know. Let's see why the three witchy sisters are here. Okay, so this person could be a Sagittarius. It's like you gave this person chance after chance to do the inner work that they continue to uh, avoid. Yes, it's a lot of toxicity here. And I feel like this person want to keep you swept up in something and bound to them with this devil energy or they swept up and they bound to a situation that they can't get out of or they feel like they can't get out of. They could be dealing with a Capricorn. They could be obsessed with you. You know, they could be so obsessed with you that th there's just this energy where it's kind of like, I got to change or, you know, I feel like multiple times they already got away with pretending as if they changed, but they really didn't. And they can't get away with that with you anymore. Okay. That's just something that they, they are not going to be able to get away with anymore. It's like, fool me once, shame on you, but fool me twice, I don't think so. I don't think so, homie. Let's see. Why is the Four of Swords here? Marriage in reverse. So this person could be going on a break away from you, or you could have told them, don't talk to me no more until you get a divorce. And they feel trapped and bound by the situation. And I feel like it's this person. They could be with somebody that is like all good for appearances on the outside. But this person is, could be pretty dark. Because we see in multiple indications of like toxicity and being bound to that. Okay. Because you see the couple down there, they are wedded together. Spider webs. Yeah. And it's like the couple is wearing a mask. Both people. All right. So your person feels bound to a person that they know is not good for them. And you could have told them, you know, you need to go within. You need to wake up. You need to see things for what they really are. I can't be with you if you're going to stay unevolved. I don't know. But you're telling them. You're telling them what you're not going to deal with. You're putting up boundaries. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Wow, and this is an abusive situation as well. Um, it could definitely be addictions here because I can I see this as abuse arguments as well as the abuse of addictions. So maybe this person is bound to bad habits that they know only this person is going to deal with, or maybe they dealing with somebody that has addictions and they feel like that person needs their help, or you know, again, I don't know, you know, Stockholm syndrome, I don't know. But somebody here is definitely staying in something that's toxic. Okay, so why is the Queen of Cups here? Because I'm interested to know, you know, which part of their life is this, you know? This could be you because it's looking as if they couldn't choose you right away. 
yeah, they couldn't have you out in public. So this had to be a private connection. All right. So yeah, that's the that's the lies here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to hold you up. This Queen of Pentacles can be somebody that has a lot of money, all right? And this person could be, they could be, like, uh, financially abusive. I don't know why, but I'm getting, like, this energy of, like, inner, um, like Indian giving. And maybe this person feels stuck with this person because of assets, because of... Because of things being threatened to be taken away from this person that they feel like they need, that they've become accustomed to. So that could be something that they even told you, Gemini. And that's probably why you like, you know what, until you get out of that 3D mess, go away. Bye. You know? So, y'all yep, the lovers, they missed the opportunity with you. And you are like a true, pure love. Like, this person knows that whatever you guys had... And you told them this in a long love letter. Either you had this in writing. <sighs> For some of you, they finding out that a child is not theirs. I'm definitely getting documentation on top of the page of pentacles in reverse. So that could be another reason why they were sticking around. If not, they're deciding to no longer invest in the situation. Like they're finally developing the personal power to actually break through this. And like invest in a change, which is you. Like, yes, it's unfamiliar. Yes, it's, you know, not full of toxicity. Yes, you don't feel bound to this, but it's a healthy choice. And they're realizing that. They're wanting to take this journey now. Yeah, they, they some of them could be finding out a kid isn't theirs. Otherwise, it's like, despite the child being, uh, them having a child with this person, they realize that they can't invest in this anymore. You know, yeah, it's a main female here. Or this can be you, because I always see the main female as somebody that's that's cared about. Yeah, you know, you definitely unloaded your emotions to this person. You blocked your emotions off to this person. You could have blocked the telepathic communication. You know, you trying to, you running out of patience. Because with the temperance in reverse here, or this person sees you as impatient, but it's no telling how long you waited, because the clock is here. Divine timing is at play here. Things are going to come to the forefront. I do feel like this person is going to tell who they're dealing with about you unless they already know. If not, then they're going to reveal how they truly feel, you know, about the whole situation at hand. Because people can find out about third parties, but it's a whole nother story to tell somebody, this person is important to me. This is where I want to be. This is where I'm going. Bye. You know? All right. So why is the seven of cups in reverse here? Yeah, this person is getting out of the illusion um, of a certain situation. For some of you, again, like I said, they're finding out that a child is not theirs. They've been thinking about a lot of what you said here, and they realize that you are the ultimate path. They are going through the transformation. So the lie was before was all of this that was going on, affairs and, you know, um, pretending to be awakened just so that they can approach you. But now I feel like they're actually doing the work. You know, with the cl uh, clear solution here, it's like they know that it's only one way that they can be with you and they can't fake it, you know, because you can see right through it. It's like if they're not really doing the inner work, then you're going to be able to tell because you have that type of foresight. You are connected to your higher self in that way, Gemini. So they can't get one up over on you, even if they did in the past. Between when you guys first met and now there's been a lot of growth in your intuition and in your spiritual gifts and everything else. So just believe that, you know, there's this just this energy here. Okay, so let's see what this person's intentions are towards you, Gemini. What are this person's intentions towards you, Gemini? parasite so again this person wow and i got parasites twice they definitely drain you through sex or they could be with a succubus energy themselves because this is that succubus energy and then parasite here somebody is definitely stealing somebody else's energy okay 
So either, and I'm asking for their intentions towards you, but of course, with this being, you know, vice versa, this, that, and the other, you know, it seems as though this pe person is trying to gain some type of peace, um, but they're unable to because uh, they are dealing with somebody that's dependent on their energy, you know, and that can be making them kind of a, 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 a parasite in your life. If they're being drained and depleted of their energy, Gemini, and then they're coming to you, then just understand that they are also taking from you, you know, and essentially taking from you to give to somebody else. So just keep that in mind, you know, and that's probably what you are keeping in mind. That's probably why you're telling this person don't reapproach you until they break up or get a divorce from the devil. All right, because the temple of my body, it, all, it speaks to somebody that needs to think. They need to think about um, how much the person that they're already dealing with doesn't care about their own body. And so that may be something that you need to think about because maybe they have somebody that is good for appearances but is, is addicted to drugs or addicted to sex or addicted to cheating or swinging or something. And you are allowing that toxicity to be inadvertently passed through sexual energy to you, Gemini. So spirit is saying, you know, the temple of my body. And that's the reason why you could be pulling back from this individual. Because at this point, you realize like, you know what? This residual energy that you get from this toxic individual that you decided to stay with and bring it to me, it's not serving my highest good. Yeah, parasite. You put a stop to it because the Knight of Pentacles is coming out in reverse. You friends on this individual you know, so you're not allowing um, sexual contact or you're not building towards this while this person is either act being a parasite and draining you because they're being drained. Yeah, it was going too slow. And you realize that this person was procrastinating and milking the situation so that they can just gather your energy because you're freaking psychic, okay? You're the freaking high priestess. So whatever secretly that they were doing or subconsciously that they were doing, Man, and it's like this person's energy is consuming this individual and it's taking them out of alignment of being with you. And you know that as well. The emperor is in reverse. It's like they being kept in this this low level of, uh, they could be, I don't know, I'm getting that they could be experiencing a lot of sleep paralysis. They definitely need to cleanse. They need to cleanse and they need to stop involving themselves with whoever this is. One more for Temple of My Body. Yeah, the world in reverse. They're not closing a cycle. Yeah, five of cups in reverse. This person need to get out of despair about something that's, uh, yeah, a marriage. Yeah, it's a marriage. It's a marriage, guys. That's what it is. It's a marriage or a contractual agreement. They need to defend themselves, stand up, stand their ground here. Okay, let's see what the outcome is between you guys. Giving a gift is in reverse. I keep getting this energy of giving energy and taking it back. Also, giving a gift and maybe they're not, they not waiting for you to give. They're taking it or vice versa. Happily ever after is in reverse. Take the leap. I feel like this person takes multiple leaps towards you, but do they stay? That's the point. So with this being the lies they tell and the secrets they keep, if you don't believe your person is lying to you, maybe this isn't them. But if you feel funny about the energy that they're giving you, they're giving you energy and they're taking it back or they're just taking your energy and not giving you shit, then this is who I'm talking about in your life, all right? You're not looking at or listening to the signs or they're not, all right? Planning ahead. So this person ain't planning too far ahead with you. If not, then they're giving a bunch. I mean, if they are, then they're giving you a bunch of empty promises that they're not for sure that they're going to fulfill because happily ever after is in reverse here so either this person is planning on sticking in a situation that doesn't make them happy or they can't really say that you guys are going to have a happily ever after divine masculine yet again is in reverse so this person is meant to be a divine masculine but they need to go ahead and adore the heartbreak of leaving this person behind so that they can heal and regain their sense of passion the past returns you are blocking this until this person changes
They know what the solution is to get you back. So if they really want you, Gemini, they can change. They can make the change to come back, okay? All right, guys. I hope this helps somebody. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.